guess what? Hmm. Hi everyone. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. I am Dr. Uma and I am Dr. Ravni. And we are getting a lot of questions from you guys asking regarding what lies ahead MD Pharmacology. Is it just about teaching? So today we'll clear all the confusion and we'll talk about the two major domains. The first one is, of course, the most common and everyone knows about, which is teaching and academics. So right after MD Pharmacology, we'll start with the SRship, which is also called as Senior Residency. It uh, ranges from the one to three years, and here you teach undergraduates, postgraduates, and conduct tutorials, and also the assist research projects. Yes. So after completing your SR ship, you can now go for assistant professorship, which usually lies for three years. Here you can teach independently, supervise the MD thesis, and start with publishing your own research. Minimum three years are here before you step up next. So next is associate professors. So after completing three years of the assistant professors, you have to publish at least two publications for this post. And here you guide MD students, also the lead projects and take up, take up administrative roles like curriculum designs. Right. So after completing the associate professorship, now you can become a professor with minimum eight years of teaching experience, which includes five years of your associate professorship. So here you can teach your own MD students, help with the PhD students teaching as well. And you can also become HOD and it doesn't just stop with HOD. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Yes, depending on your uh, seniority and contributions. Let's come back to the next domain, which is the clinical and hospital roles. So many people don't know, after completing your MD pharmacology, doctors can also work in the hospitals as clinical pharmacologists. Here, our role includes supervising the therapeutic drug monitoring, Second, being optimizing the doses in the complex patients. And third, drafting the antibiotic policies. You will find clinical pharmacologists in tertiary care and private hospitals. So another important role is an ADR monitoring center coordinator so under the pharmacovigilance program of India. So here uh, you lead the adverse drug reactions, also to train the staff and even uh, you move toward the national and international pharmacovigilance roles. Right. You can also be a part of ethics committee, which reviews clinical trial protocols. With the experience, you can grow right from being a committee member to a chairperson and sometimes even you can serve at the national level and work with ICMR and CDSCOP. And finally, as a drug information specialist, you provide unbiased drug information to the hospital. Even you lead the hospital-based drug policy committee and this role is very crucial for safe and rational drug. And here you also answer the queries about the adverse drug reaction interactions to the hospitals. So, you see, MD Pharmacology is not just about teaching. There are multiple hospital-based roles plus well-defined academic structure as well. So whether you incline towards the clinical practice, teaching, ethical committee or pharmacovigilance, this branch is given so many, so much growth. Yes. So if you found, found this video helpful, do like, like, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. Let us know your questions and we will try to include them in our next, next video. video. Also, stay tuned for, for part two. two.